all the latest Chelsea news and transfer news that's featured the last 24 hours or so in just a five minute video. Welcome to Chelsea Daft. This is my website, ChelseaDaft.org. Let's get cracking. We've seen last week Jorginho's agent beginning to refer to Juve and the links to Juventus, touting Juve as, as a, a massive European club that everyone wants to play for. He's now talking even further, which suggests that the links to Jorginho are becoming stronger with real substance. And I believe Jorginho will go this summer. His agent said this. I don't know whether Juve want Jorginho or not. He has three years left on his Chelsea contract. We'll see. He is a professional. So if an important club in Italy calls, then why not? It's not going to go away. Jorginho will sign for Juve this summer. Here's an interesting report regarding Olivier Giroud. And as we all know, Chelsea took up the option to extend his contract by another season. According to reports, he could still leave Chelsea on one condition, despite signing that deal. And it's come from a report in The Athletic, stating that he was getting plenty of attention from clubs around Europe before he signed this extension. If Frank Lampard manages to invest heavily in attacking reinforcements this summer, Giroud could still be out the door. For me, I'd still keep him. I think Giroud gives us an alternative option and I think he'll be here the whole of next season and will still make an important contribution. So to some articles on Football London and first up, Chelsea's big issue solved by Valencia transfer. First up, Kepa. And as reported, it looked as though Valencia were interested in signing, but it looked as though it was on loan. Now believe that it could actually be a permanent deal. Chelsea signed Kepa for 71 million. They're going to they're gonna want close to that if they're going to sell him. I still think he's going to stay. What do you think? Frank Lampard's been talking on BBC's Football Focus about football returning and the Bundesliga being played behind closed doors. And he said this, It's certainly proper football. There are clear things that are going to be affected. You may not get to the level of what we get with crowds because that's why the Premier League for me is the best in the world. Because our home fans drive us on and that's why home advantage is so important. But when you go away, that hostility and tribalism sometimes drives you on as well. It's a beautiful thing. Of course it's football behind closed doors. There will be things that are different and I'll have to speak to the players about that. But when there's three points and when you're playing for your team and you want to get somewhere in the league, then of course the focus is there. After another impressive performance this weekend in the Bundesliga and his third goal in two games, Kai Havertz is making waves and Marina Granovskaya has been told Chelsea should ditch Coutinho interest and seal the transfer of the highly rated youngster instead. And that's come from former Chelsea defender Frank LeBeouf who's urging his club to make a move for Havertz ASAP. When LeBeouf was asked if he was impressed by his performances, he said this, Yes, I like his maturity on the field. He looks like someone who's 30 and knows exactly what he has to do and when he has to do it. The goal he scored was very clever between the goalkeeper's legs. He's the master orchestrator of that team. And I talked about him last week and I said that's the player I would hire for sure. When we're talking about Chelsea, about Coutinho, when you see that player, he should be in the Premier League very soon. He should be because he's a very, very talented player. Referring to Havertz. This is followed last night by additional reports on Havertz claiming that Chelsea are prepared to offer, make a formal offer, 80 million for Kai Havertz as soon as possible to try and get ahead of the rivals who are also interested in signing him. An update on Chelsea's search for a new left back with Emerson being believed to go back to Italy this summer. As we've seen, Chelsea are highly linked with the likes of Ben Chilwell and Alex Tellez, but a player they've been linked to a couple of weeks back, Nicolas Taglifico, has had a price tag put on his head by Ajax, and it's only 22.4 million. Taglifico is 27, and that price, if you think, could be as little as three times less than Ben Chilwell, could turn out to be the most attractive option. What do you guys think of Taglifico? Now, here's a player that was linked loosely with Chelsea back in January. And it's come back again this summer. Bournemouth striker Joshua King, wanted by four of the top six clubs in the country. It's been reported that Liverpool, Man City, Leicester, Man United, Wolves and Chelsea are all interested in King, the 28-year-old, who's got a one year left on his contract at Bournemouth. And I find that staggering. I really, really do. Man United had a £20 million bid turned down by Bournemouth back in January. They're back in for him. Josh King, would he be somebody that would come in and accept a backup role at Chelsea? 
do we want to see someone do that somebody come into the club and be that player or do we want to see a much more highly regarded forward no disrespect to king but someone who's going to come in and challenge abraham straight away week in week out for a start what do you think of josh king that's it from me guys this is your five minute chelsea news and transfer news post your comments in the comment section below smash that like button for me and then subscribe to the channel but hit the bell for notifications to make sure you don't miss when these videos come out also check out the other content listed here for more from my channel have a great monday see you tomorrow